I have uh, what I call minimal AGI, and that's when you have an artificial agent that it can at least do all sorts of cognitive things that we would typically expect people to be able to do. And uh, we're not there yet, but it could be one year, it could be five years. I'm guessing probably about two or so. That's the my minimal one. That's the point at which I'd say, okay, this AI is no longer failing in ways that we would find surprising if we gave a person that cognitive task. And I think that's the, that's the minimum bar. Now, that doesn't mean we understand fully how to reach the capabilities of human intelligence because you can have extraordinary people who, who go and do amazing you know, cognitive feats, inventing new theories in physics or maths or developing you know, incredible symphonies or doing all the writing, amazing literature and so on. Uh, and just because our AI can do what's typical of human cognition doesn't necessarily mean we know all the recipes and algorithms, everything required to achieve um, very extraordinary feats of human cognition. Once we can, with our AI, achieve the full spectrum of what's possible with human cognition, uh, then we really know that we've nailed, you know, at least to fully to human level. And so we call that full AGI. And then is there a level beyond that? Yeah. So I think once you start going beyond what is possible with human cognition, you start heading into something that's called uh, artificial superintelligence or ASI. There aren't really good, clear definitions of that, but at least in vague terms, it means something like it's it's an AGI, so it has the generality of an AGI, but it's now so capable in general, it's somehow far beyond what uh, you know what humans are, are capable of, of uh, reaching.